morning, guys. Welcome to Montana. We, uh, it's pretty early in the morning. I think it's probably in the 50s, low 50s. I didn't check the, the uh, temperature this morning, but uh, feels like it's about 50 out here. If you guys will notice, the sun hasn't even come up. I woke up this morning about 5 a.m. I've already been driving for about 45 minutes, stopped at this little rest area here. Um, but what a beautiful morning and what a awesome day we had yesterday in Yellowstone. We left the park. We're moving north. We're, uh, we're in, we just crossed the border into Montana and uh, we're headed up to Glacier National Park. So we're excited for that. But first, first, we've been getting a lot of questions on the van build, uh, specifically about solar or recirculating shower, about our air conditioning and a lot of other things about the van, the layout and some other things. And so we're gonna take some time over the next couple of days to put together some content to answer some of those questions. So we really appreciate the questions. We appreciate the comments. Thank you guys um, for watching our videos. And uh, so yeah, we're, uh, we'll show you Montana. See you in a bit. You guys can see this we're kind of in a safe spot behind some cover but we came down through this park and there's this huge elk there how many points does he have snow 16 or so huge anyway what a beautiful creature From arrowheads to moonshine stills, to Harleys, to old construction equipment and cars, the Miracle of America Museum has something for everybody with over 100,000 objects displayed. It's about one hour south of Glacier National Park on US 93. And unfortunately, when me and Kurt went through, it wasn't open, but just the parking lot was loaded with really cool stuff. So if you're ever up in the area, make sure you stop by and give this place a visit. Glacier National Park only has one road that runs right through the middle of it. It's called Going to the Sun Road. And when you drive on it, you're going to drive through Logan's Pass, which without a doubt is one of the most beautiful highways we've ever driven on. In 1910, when Glacier National Park was established, it had over 100 named glaciers. In 1966, the park only had 35 named glaciers large enough to be considered active. By the year 2015, only 26 named glaciers remained. This trend of glacier retreat is expected to continue as temperatures rise. It is predicted that by the year 2030, 
If carbon dioxide levels continue to rise, there will be no glaciers left in Glacier National Park. And that's only 11 years away. The weather's pretty good. It's probably about 65 degrees or something. And so uh, I think it's gonna make for a nice day. Um, as I understand, the first part of the park is gonna be mostly lakes, rivers, waterfalls, that type of thing. And then we get into the wildlife. So we'll give you a bit of more of a show as we move through the park. But yeah, you guys probably noticed that uh, I need a shave and a haircut. So hopefully uh, we'll get somewhere where I can do that here in the next day or two, because I feel like a woolly booger. So. so we're coming along here and we see Earl and Linda on the side of the road. Hi, Earl, <laughs> Earl's got his big old camera out and Linda's got this really school. Yes. Yeah, this Vortex uh, Razor. And uh, and it turns out there's some sheep out there. Can't really goats, they're goats. Thanks. And uh, so anyway, Snow's like, we need to get one of those things because you can see them crystal clear with their, we can pull them in with the camera a little bit, but we'll have to see on the computer if we can pull them in or if they're gonna be grainy. But thank you guys for helping us spot this goat. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see this. I know the sun's back there, but this is Glacier National Park. And uh, this is gorgeous. We're on a lake, a glacier fed lake, and it is crystal blue. Now if you can see the van is up there. And uh, I mean, this is amazing. And I know this water is cold, but I'm contemplating going in. What do you guys think? Should I or shouldn't I? That's the question. Now I'll tell you the problem is I'm not really dressed for swimming. So I couldn't find Kurt anywhere. He cooked a yummy dinner. Uh, the job is Kurt, or whoever cooks the other person cleans. 99% of the time, Kurt's the cook and I'm the cleaner. He just cooks so good and I think he enjoys it. But anyway, that's beside the point. The point is I just got the kitchen all cleaned up, got the van ready because we're fixing to head in and see another section of Glacier National Park and I can't find dirt. Well, we had decided to uh, park alongside this river coming out of the park and that's where we would eat. And I'm gonna have to turn the camera around to show y'all where I found Kurt. So for those of you who know me, I just went in. There's Kurt. I looked down there and he had stripped down to his underwear and was swimming in this river. But the only problem with swimming in this is see these rocks? They're not too comfortable on your feet. So I needed my sandals or my thongies or whatever. I went barefoot. And uh, I don't know what you guys call those sandals, thongs, slides. What do you guys call those things to put on your feet? So I blew the horn. Hopefully he knows I'm ready to go. We shall see. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions. Just give you an idea where I'm sitting. Right here. Down there, 20 feet. Hanging off close to that waterfall to the ledge. I'm gonna see if I can make it there. You guys know me by now. 
I gotta keep going. I've seen in the comments that say, no, Kurt, you don't have to do it. And I know I don't. Let's see. This is absolutely amazing. Now, this is gonna be a little tricky maneuver around here. Totally doable. I'm gonna do it safe, and I'm gonna dip my toes in that water right there. So, this up here was not a field of view from where I was originally. You can see this nice waterfall. Pretty I told you I was gonna make it down here to where I could dip my toes in the water. Now the question really is, what's the easiest way out of here? as we went through Glacier National Park this week. If you liked this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and you can subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you know when we put new videos up. Join us in a few days as we head west.